Hey guys, Chris with Tillman Family Farms. Um, today we're gonna go over something that we've done a pretty fair amount of videos on, but it's a very integral part of our piglet uh, operation, if you could call it that. Um, and it's in a little bit of need of some repair. So we're gonna go over this. Uh, what am I gonna do to make repairs? What the plans for this piece of fine farm ingenuity uh, has for the future? and talk about what's coming up and what we got to use it for all right so this is the infamous piglet catch box we were in a hurry when we did this uh, we used some saw milled lumber that's why some of that almost dimensional lumber doesn't look so dimensional uh, but it is two pallets on the bottom we used a piece of osb which is what we had at the time for to connect those two pallets together then we just used some two by fours all the way around it, stood them up and, and then made these rails here with these slots so that piglets could not escape. And here where the piglets would come in and out, this is a sliding door. And what we do is we set up a little yard around this. And when we set the yard up, the piglets can get in and out of it but the mama pigs can't. We, we have to drive some rebar in the ground so that the mama pigs can't open it up. But we start feeding piglets in this about a week before it's time to wean them. Okay, so you'll feed them in the yard portion first, and then once they get used to it, you start feeding them in the box. And then when you go to feed them one day, you just close the slide door on it, lock it all down, take the yard portion of it around, pick it up with a tractor, and carry piglets off to a training pen so that they can be castrated and wormed and then separated from their moms so that they can start their journey for what their purpose is, whether it's to be sold to another farm or if they will be uh, entered into a feeder group for our farm purposes. All right, so like I said, we were in a hurry and I used OSB for the floor. So, it's not in bad shape in a couple of places. It's got a lot of buildup on it from, I'm sure, uh, pig manure and feed and all kinds of other stuff that ended up in here. But you can see over there where they come in and out, where it takes the most traffic and the beating, uh, it, it has come apart. So for now, this is not gonna be a, a permanent thing. Um, I'm gonna replace a section over there and maybe tighten some of this stuff up and my stop under my sliding door is gone so you see it goes all the way to the ground so i'm gonna i'm gonna create a, another stop for that right there so that it will stay where it's supposed to be and when i pick it up that just doesn't slide right on out um but we're getting close to weaning a group of piglets so that's why we're trying to get this bad boy put back in shape um i don't know how many more times we're going to use this uh it, it it has worked well we have captured many 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 piglets with this box over the last two three, or two and a half years but um i would like to build something a little bit lighter uh that might could hold a few more piglets and that my tractor would still pick it up when this wood gets wet it gets a little heavy for this small tractor that i've got so um utility wise it works great for what it is it's a little heavy especially when you pile up you know 12 to 13 piglets in it you know all of a sudden it gets really 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 heavy so but that's what it is i'm gonna get some things real quick i got a, a piece of plywood uh this is nothing fancy so remember i'm an electrician not a carpenter uh so we're just gonna patch it up and get it ready to be used and then we'll go set it up in the same video all right so for all the carpenter nazis out there before y'all beat the crap out of me I am an OSB hater. I don't like to use OSB for anything. Uh, I, I'd rather walk across hot coals than use OSB. Not even sure where this piece came from, but my fears were just uh, confirmed. So as I was cleaning this box out, you see this big hole right here. Uh, I stepped right through it. So even though this whole thing's built on top of a piece of it, I'm fixing to try to tear up as much of it as I can to the edges uh, and then try to take another piece of plywood and try to cover the whole thing. Cause even if I just patched up these holes, I know pigs pretty well and piglets themselves, 
they'll end up tearing up this whole thing and then as i'm trying to cart them off there'll be legs hanging out from the pallet down there so i'm gonna try to replace this whole entire thing um it's farming plants change all the time and they just did all right so i've got it torn out uh i tore the whole thing out so um i'll flip this around show you what i got i'm gonna get some measurements and then my scrap plywood that we've come up with we're gonna get to cutting that stuff getting it laid down in here and getting it screwed off a um, couple things i'll tell you in my fantastic carpentry skills what i'll do to help me out when i get to screwing things down so let me show you what i got all right that's it and yes some of those slats on those pallets are uh, just as rotted as what the osb was so what i'm going to do is that each one of the slats or the actual framework of the pallet i'm going to take and mark where that solid board is running that way so that when i get my plywood down there i'm going to know where to run my screws in because all those boards are good and solid so but i'm not going to leave I, i'm not going to take any of those boards up because some of them are more solid and it's, it's just going to be a lot of work for what i'm trying to do <clears throat> like i say this may be the last go round for this bad boy so we're just trying to patch her up so we can get through this uh group of about 40 piglets uh we'll have about three rounds of weaning on this time so we're gonna get her patched up best we can and maybe not use her anymore. All right, repairs are done. So I got this thing down here. So my door stops again. I had to add a couple of supports on the bottom of this because the two pallets are in pretty bad shape too. And I overlapped the plywood, screwing it together, trying to just to get a little bit more stability. If we get this round of piglets done with this box, that'd be great. We just don't have time right now to stop and build another box so this one's gonna have to get us through but repairs are done and we're about to get out here and get it all set up All right, so we got the box in there and then I went ahead and put one panel on there uh, to kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing. There's three panels that go on this thing and I got to get them, I got to get them screwed up. I don't know, they're over there tearing something up. Uh, anyway, that's the whole reason this tripod's not in there. Um, so I'm gonna get these other two panels put on and get the rebar set up and I'll show you how and why and how it works and all that good stuff. All right, the piglet catch system is fully assembled, okay? So this is the portion that I repaired. We put a new floor in it and um, we put a brace under the door to 
keep the sliding door from going all the way down. So these are other just uh, little fence panels that we built specifically for this. When we built the box, we had some other dimensional lumber. So what we do is we drive two pieces of rebar right here. That holds this to where nobody can smash the opening shut. It is actually screwed temporarily to the box down through there. And then you take another one, put it across here with two pieces of rebar so it can't be pushed around. And then a piece of rebar in this corner so that it can't be pushed out with a group of piglets in there. See, so it's attached to the box there. So here's the idea. Over the next week, we will feed piglets on the inside. The piglets will run in here to feed free of fighting for feed from the bigger pigs. When the day comes that they're comfortable in there, we will start feeding them only in the box, none in the yard. So in the time being, this door will stay up like such. They can go in and out of the box if they're curious, whatever they wanna do. But the day that it's time to load them up out of here and get them out of here, we'll feed them in the box. We'll take out this piece of rebar right here so that we can shut this on them. We'll put a bungee cord around that so that it can't open back up. And then as they're in the box eating, we'll slide the door down and then we'll unattach the fence panels, bring the tractor in, pick it up and take this whole entire box to a training pen, climb in there with them, remove them one by one for castration, uh, worming shots and into the new setup all in one fail swoop. So there's no escaped piglets or anything like that. This system has worked great for us over the past couple of years. Yes, it's time for an upgrade, but she's gonna get one last hoorah. So that was my biggest mission for the day was to get the, the piglet catch system uh, put back together. We actually have some people committed to buying some of these piglets. The rest of them are gonna be weaned into the training pen and they will go for our holes and halves at the end of the year. Um, when we actually do the video of catching them and taking them that way, we'll go over numbers and why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, why we specifically raise pigs for uh, holes and halves at that time of the year. All of that good fancy stuff that all has to do with business strategy. Yes, farmers have business strategies. Imagine that. Um, anyhow, that's it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. If you don't mind, please go down and like and subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll see all the videos we put out and we will see you on the next video.